Yo, yo, yo. Look like I got a quick video. Only got 16 minutes <laughs> worth of recording to do. So I can do this quick. I can do this 15, 16 minutes. Yo, let me say this real quick, though. Um, Shout out to my dog, Kyrie Irvin. Kyrie Irvin is now my new favorite um, sports athlete of all time. I am a Buffalo Bills fan, but Kyrie Irvin has just jumped the Buffalo Bills. And I just, you know, I always thought I was the uh, biggest Bills fan in the world. But, you know, as I grow up, I learn to see what sports really is. Sports is just like a distraction from most, you know, most important issues on the planet. And uh, Kyrie Irvin is out in full force you know like you know I, I i said um how how um you know like the kanye shit can be a play and i said that mainly not mainly but a lot because you know kanye be playing like both sides a lot he at like he'd be a christian and then he'd go do a concert and he'd be in all his you know a little weird satanic shit then he um on that drink champs interview you know he was trying to go in but then he would you know promote like uzi vert and shit like that so i didn't really trust kanye like that but kanye started saying you know what he was saying you know i, I support kanye for saying it and i kind of like kanye but you gotta watch what shit like Kanye is because Kanye is obviously playing both sides especially with how he promoted Uzi Vert and you know Playboy Cardi and shit like that now you look at Kyrie now I, I, I'm gonna still give props to Kanye because Kanye later on in his little rants and especially in the um, um, Lex Friedman podcast Kanye started saying some shit and he started opening up, maybe because he was getting pissed and he want to, you know how, you know how you can say a little bit of something and then, you know, you got to prove your point more because they don't believe you. And then you really start telling the truth. I think that's what Kanye started doing because later on in his little rants and interviews and shit, Kanye says something on the Lex Friedman podcast about, you know, how he's been saying, you know, we are the... Hebrews and this that or other but Kanye like for the longest time Kanye been trying to act like he's a pharaoh you know he even has a line asked the girl have you ever had sex with a pharaoh like that and he had the uh the uh Horus Horus um chain on and you know all that mason shit all that masonic shit is like um like worship of like ancient Egypt shit you know that's why we got the um, pyramid on the back of our dollar bill because the masons kind of made America but the way Kanye started going into a little bit he was like yo just say what you want to say don't worry about your fraternity you know he was when he said don't worry about your fraternity he's obviously talking about the masons and shit and he was like, well, you know, we were wrong thinking we the Pharaoh because we really were the Jews. You know, we really were Moses running away from the Pharaoh. And that's that was dope that Kanye said that. But um, what I was telling you in the last video, see, all these little videos are like little steps towards further discussion. But they're all little pieces, little steps we're going through, just like I did my podcast. It was like part one to part like 400 or some shit like that. But they're all steps on the same on the same road. Um, Kanye, I told you yesterday, you know, how they be like little plays to prevent you from, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll show the slave like Kanye and they'll whip the slave. And that's supposed to scare all the other slaves from talking about what that or doing what that other slave that got whipped just did and that was that's what 
that's obviously what the play Kanye was doing and Alex Jones and um you know Andrew Tate all of that um but you got with this Kyrie situation is different because Kyrie never played both sides like that Kyrie was always like on point you know he used to say some crazy shit about like um the earth being flat and you know just little shit like that but you can tell Kyrie at that time was going through his journey of just trying to learn shit learn knowledge but um Kyrie done went all the way out with this and this is I like Kyrie even more now because like major sports athletes they kind of know the truth a lot of them they know but they can't say it because a lot of their money is tied into the people that they want to talk about so if they say it they're going to lose their sponsors or, you know all this shit like that but I gotta I guess I'm fucking tired I don't know I got a respect for Ky I mean Kyrie last year when he you know he didn't get the sh the jab and he sat out most of the season. But, you know, they try to all blame it on Kyrie and try to shoot shit on Kyrie's name and this, that, or the other. But it was really his team. You know, his team, the the Brooklyn Nets, you know, who was had that mandate in New York, you know. It was really that team that prevented Kyrie from playing because a lot of other people came in that building from other teams. They didn't have the jab and they still played. But it was... What they do, they don't want people like Kyrie who don't mind risking it all and has a huge fan base. They don't want him to start saying some shit. So I say, yesterday I said the thing with Kanye was to prevent you from talking like this. It was a visible slave beating for to prevent you from talking. Same with Alex Jones. Same with on Andrew Tate. But... All right, on this, <clears throat> we should talk about why. Why they don't want to talk about what Kanye was saying, what um, Alex Jones was saying, and, you know, Andrew Tate. Oh, now, the why, the bigger why, and we're going to keep on this Kyrie Irving shit. The bigger why, he was saying something about, like, you know, the real Hebrews are black and this, that, and the other. Now, they, I'm not, you know, right now what they do is they try to be like fake outrage and be like, oh, you're anti-Semitic and it, it, it hurts so many people and this, that, and the other. But, you know, obviously, like Charlemagne said the other day with um, Lear Cohen, you're promoting this music and it hurts all these other people and your, your only answer is well I gotta feed my family you know you don't really care about hurting other people you just don't want people to talk about this particular subject you know y'all did it with Nick Cannon y'all fucked him up because this subject is a hot subject now whether you believe in the Bible or not you know whether you believe in that situation the you know religion like that or not in the Bible no, on the planet you live on right now, there is um, um, people who are in power, who are kings, because, and the Pope, because they feel they have a divine right to rule. Divine right to rule is basically saying that God left them in charge until God makes a return on earth. So, the Pope uses it. Um, the Queen of England, the you know, aristocracy uses it. All the kings and queens, they, they say they have rulership over you from the divine right to rule. And this little book, this Bible, gives them that authority. So, you can be like, oh, all right. Um, if the Bible gives you that authority... And we're going to play on that authority. Whether we believe it or not, y'all still get the benefits of this divine right to rule. So, what if there's something in the Bible that gives me something? You know, if we're going to use this Bible as a, as a blueprint to having divine 
rights to rule, divine, you know, all of this shit y'all got. Y'all say y'all got it because God gave you a divine right to rule. Okay, so if we're going to play on that, you get Rome, all of that Catholic shit, Italy, the Vatican, y'all got it. Y'all been benefited off of it for years. It's trillion dollar system. Y'all got divine right to rule in the aristocracies, all right? Y'all been benefiting off of, for years. It's a trillion dollar system. Um, But what if there's something in the Bible? Now, y'all already used this precedence. Y'all already used the blueprint. But what if there's something in the Bible that gives black people a divine or anything? Any What if black people get anything out of this book that y'all made powerful? Okay, so let's look in this book. But is there? But it is, you know, because so far the chosen people, and maybe I can't do all of this in one video. So in this book, God's chosen people are the Hebrew, and they're scattered around the world, blah, blah, blah. Now, y'all already said this book tells the truth, and y'all already got the benefits from this book. But, so the Hebrew... um got benefits from this book also chosen people god's chosen people got chance to return to israel now israel is 90 miles away from egypt egypt is in africa 90 miles away from egypt is like um 90 miles from charleston is columbia south carolina but it's still south carolina so god don't have no god didn't draw no borders he just said the land, you know, there was no borders of Egypt, Israel, blah, blah, blah. So, but in this book that y'all made powerful, y'all got a divine right to rule. God did say, you know, um, the Hebrew is his chosen people and blah, blah, blah. But see what the thing is, y'all don't want us to talk about is because that will give from the precedent y'all already set that will give black people some claim to a lot of shit now if y'all don't want us to have claim to a lot of shit like y'all already claimed y'all have to make sure we don't never know that and it's not anti-semitic or anything because you know there is um african tribes in zimbabwe and south africa that's proven to be jewish so if if there's Africans um, that's proven to be Jewish, how do you know that black African Americans aren't? You know? So it's like, it's y'all, it's obvious y'all don't want, like if you take your girl's phone and she go crazy, hey, give me that phone back, and she beat you down and all this shit, she's showing you she don't want you to see what's in that phone. You know, she don't want you to know what's in that phone because knowledge is power. And if you have knowledge, so what's in that phone, you might be more powerful in understanding who she really is. Right? So when they beat you down from talking all this, you can't talk about what Kyrie's talking about because knowledge is power. And when you learn enough knowledge in this particular situation, you will have power, power to a certain claim from the Bible, which you already made powerful, it's just like the book of Eli. Book of Eli. This is exactly like the book of Eli. Book of, um, uh, Eli was taking the Bible to the West, America. Now, in the movie, he was taking it to the West, San Francisco, but his, you know, figuratively, he was going West. Right? There was a white dude who had the same Bible, who wanted the same Bible because he knew it could control the masses. And he was giving out spoon feeding the masses with nourishment, water. But he wasn't giving out enough because everyone was, you know, broke, hungry, thirsty, and dying. But he knew this Bible was powerful. If you you can turn it, you know, you can use it to destroy the people or reign over the people or you can actually give them the truth of who everyone really is and it will nourish the whole land that's what book of eli was about so when he's taking this information to the west 
he's taking this information is basically saying like Americans in the West, African Americans especially, he was black, African Americans in the West need this information. I um is it's it's so deep. It's so deep. This is what Book of Eli was all about. But the white dude was saying, no, we can't give this information to the West. We have to continue to use this information to have control over the world. These people who don't want you to know the power, they are holding your power against you. They're holding your they're holding knowledge away from you so you won't have a claim to what they've already taken claim to. So shout the fuck out to Kanye West because I mean Kyrie Irving and slightly Kanye West too because they're showing they're showing you this. They're 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 giving you a little Kyrie much more than Kanye. Kanye's playing both sides. Kyrie is all out with it. He's standing ten toes down and I gotta shout that boy out. So I'm finished right before sixteen minutes. Subscribe, like and share. I'll make a part two to this video. Yeah, bitch.